this is just one way um, that I kind of learned myself through watching various tutorials of how to replace a sky. Um, if you, you know, apply some common sense to it, you can kind of use it for a lot of different things. Again, is this the easiest way? Probably not. Is there a more professional way to do it? Absolutely. But if you're in a pinch, um, this will work. So here, I'm just going to take this small clip down to our timeline um, of a sky, Mr. Guy Burt Whistle here, uh, running up a set of rocks, really short clip. And I want to change, I want to take the sky out and we're going to put them in a nebula. So we're going to put them in this nebula galaxy right here. So I'm just going to bring this into my timeline, okay, and we're just going to move it to the side for now. So first things first, you can do this in the color page. I have found fusion is better. Uh, it, it just works better. It processes the information better. It takes its time and really gets out um, the extra, really gets out the extra work. Um, so what I'm going to do, let me quit my mail here. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to the Fusion page, okay, down here at the bottom, it's that middle, and all we're going to do is we've got our media in, which is um, the clip that we're using, this clip, and then this is what we want it to look like at the end. That's all this media in and out is. I'm going to go to Media 1, hit, for me it's Shift, Space, I'm using a Mac, and I'm going to go to Magic Mask. I'm going to hit Add, so now we've got our Magic Mask added. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of the sky, right? So we're going to go as close as we can. And you can zoom in and get this more perfect, but the kind of beauty of the magic mask is you really don't have to get it perfect. So there's that. Now you realize, oh crap, it's inverted. I wanted the opposite. Well, that's fine. So we're going to go over here. You'll see tracking matte settings. We're going to go to matte. And right here, we're going to go to invert matte. Boom. Okay. So now we have the sky removed instead of uh, the um, ground. So we're going to go back to tracking and you see here if you zoom in it's got a little bit of hand, the blue through there which we don't really want. So right here you'll see the option and this is going to depend on your GPU for your computer. Um, so I'm using the M1 Max uh, MacBook Pro so it works pretty well for me so I'm going to hit better and then boom you see that it's still not perfect we can go in there and finagle it if we want to for this video I'm not going to do it but you would just hit see here you can add subtract and select so if I wanted to add more to the mask and cut more out, you would use add, subtract is there. So if I really wanted to, I could go in, that, boom, now I'm subtracting, oh, I'm sorry, because we inverted the mask, it's the opposite. So we want to add to the mask, so there you go. So you want to keep it add. If we were doing the inverse, it would be subtract. We would want to take that out. So there you go, looking pretty good. Now comes the long part, depending on your computer. We want to track it, so we want to, it'll, mask around him. So let's go ahead and do that. Up here you'll have your tracking. I do this backwards and forwards one just so it does the whole clip. And here we go. And boom, it's done. So that took about, what does it say down here? It took about 16.9 seconds. <laughs> so now it's masked. So no matter where we go, he is good and the sky is gone. So the way I do the inputting of the background, I like to, I'm, I came over from Premiere Pro, so I'm, I'm used to and understand pretty clearly the layer system. Now again, I know there's an easier way to do this, but for this sake, we're going to go over here. Now you see it's removed the sky, so that's gone. Now if you move this here, uh-oh. So for coming over from Premiere, the top layer is always what's on top, right? So we actually want this to be underneath, and there you go. So you just slide that clip up. Boom, and now my man is running towards the nebula. Nebula galaxy. There you go, guys. So once it's tracked, and you'll see there, see it popped in. Where was it? In there, you'll see some blue pop in, I think. So we would just go in and keep kind of finessing it and getting it to work till we got it where we want. Then, of course, you can go to the color page. You know, you can mess with both the sky. So if we want the nebula, you know, way brighter, like, oh no. And then we want to do, you know, to him, let's get some contrast going. That's too much. Some contrast, bring the shadows down, you know, bring the light down a little bit. And then you just color it and make it look how you want it to look. And uh, let's see, we want him to feel like he's on, he's in there too, right? So let's give it a little purple. And there you go. Not great. Obviously, I would spend a lot more time on this, but just a quick way to remove your background.